press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Abdurrahman Turpan from Afghanistan and in this video I am going to show you two ways to unlock Android pattern or pin code without losing data and without doing factory reset. If you have forgotten pattern or pin code of your Android devices, then in this video I am going to show you two different ways to bypass or unlock your Android devices without losing your imported data. So please watch this video till the very end as I will be explaining everything from A to Z. And if you find this video helpful by any means, then please share it with your friends. Sharing is always free guys, it doesn't cost anything. So please do share this video with your friends. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel, then press that bell icon to receive notification from my latest videos. So with that being said, let's begin. which is protected with a pattern. I can unlock this phone by doing a factory reset. But if I do a factory reset of this phone, I will lose all the data that are stored inside this phone, which I really don't want because those files are very important to me. Our first method is using Android SDK tool to unlock your Android device without losing data. But for this method to work properly, USB debugging must be enabled in your Android device. If USB debugging is not enabled, then this method will not work for you. And remember, this method might not work with all of you guys. I have seen some people unlock their phone by using this method. Okay, first of all, download these two programs on your computer. You can get these two files from the link given in the description below. Click on the first link and it's gonna take you to this page. From this page, you can download ADB installer. Then click on the second link and it's gonna take you to this page. From this page, you can download SDK platform tools for Windows if you are using Windows. If you are using Mac, download for Mac. So I've already downloaded it. Okay, before you play with these two tools, make sure you disable antivirus for a few minutes. So I'm just gonna disable my antivirus. So I'm just gonna disable it for one hour. Okay, now my antivirus is disabled. After that, open up this ADB setup, click on yes, okay after that type here Y and hit enter and again press Y enter, okay after that here it says do you want to install the device drivers, so I'm just gonna say yes, press Y and hit enter once again and it's gonna open up a setup wizard like this, then click on next and it's gonna install ADB drivers on your computer. As you can see, mine is already installed, so I'm just gonna click on finish. Okay, once you've done that, now open up this file, platform tools, then extract it into your computer's C drive. So I'm just gonna drag it in my C drive. Okay, now you should have platform tools on your C drive. Now open up this folder, then copy the path or address of this folder. After that, right click on my computer icon, then click on properties. Now click on advanced system settings. Next, select environment variables. Now from here, double click on the path then click on edit and at the end of this address just put a semicolon then paste the address that you just copied so I'm just gonna paste it after that click on ok 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 and close this one now go back to your platform tools folder now from your keyboard press and hold shift after that right click on any blank space then you should see an option called open command window here just click on it then it's gonna open cmd inside this folder now type here adb hit enter as you can see amd script is running successfully which means adb is working perfectly in my computer now connect your phone to pc with a usb cable Okay, now my phone is connected. After that, type here ADB devices. 
to see whether your device is connected or not okay now you can see my device is connected okay after that type here adb shell adb space shell hit enter okay now type the following commands if your phone is protected with a pattern then use this command if your phone is protected with a pin or password then use the second command i will leave both of these commands in the description below so i'm just gonna type here rm space forward slash data forward slash system forward slash gesture dot key once again if your phone is protected with a pattern use gesture dot key command if your phone is protected with a password or a pin then use password dot key in my case my phone is protected with a pattern so i'm just going to use gesture dot key after that hit enter okay after the command is successfully executed now disconnect your phone from pc after that restart your phone after restarting use any pattern or pin code to unlock your phone and it will work and as i said before at the beginning of this video this trick might not work with all of you guys just try this method if it didn't work then you don't have to worry just skip to the next step if the first method didn't work for you then this method will definitely help you to unlock your Android devices without losing data but there are some points that you should remember first the software used in this video is not free second this software doesn't support all the Android devices out there at the time of making this video this software currently supports most of the Samsung and LG devices and in the future more devices will be added to this software's supported list and the good thing about this software is this software can remove any kind of lock screen from your Android devices without erasing your imported data so let me show you how it works okay first of all write down your phone's model number because you will need that later on this video okay to do that first of all turn off your phone after that take out the battery model number of smartphones are usually printed underneath the battery here's my phone's model number which is gti 9500 if your phone's battery is not removable or this model number is completely wiped out then there is another way to find out your phone's model number okay first of all hold down volume down button home button then power button hold down these three buttons together for a few seconds after that you will see a screen like this just press volume up button then there you should see your phone's model number my phone's model number is gti 9500 once you have your phone's model number write it down somewhere because you will need that later okay now that you have written down your phone's model number just click on the link in the description below it's gonna take you to this page from this page you can download this software this software is called dr phone unlock for android as you can see this software can remove four type of screen locks including pattern, pin, password, and even fingerprints. As I said before, this software is not free. You have to purchase it. And in order to see whether your device is supported by this software or not, there is a link. Just right click on it and open it in a new tab. As you can see, this software is currently supporting a lot of Samsung and LG devices. In order to find out your phone's model number, just press Ctrl and F from your keyboard after that type here your phone's model number in my case my phone's model number is gt i9500 as you can see my phone is supported by the software which means the software can remove pattern or pin code from my phone if your phone's model number is listed here then congratulations your phone will be unlocked by the software if it's not there then you don't have to worry and i'll show you a way to get your phone into this list Okay, just download and install the software into your computer. After that, launch it up. As you can see, this software is world's number one smartphone management software out there. With this software, you can do a lot of things like you can backup and restore Android and iOS devices. You can transfer data from your computer to your 
smartphone, you can recover any kind of deleted files from Android and iOS devices and more. And I already made separate videos about these options. You can watch them by clicking on i button at the top right corner or I will leave the link in the description below. Okay, in order to unlock your phone, you have to select this option, unlock, just click on it. Now it's asking you to connect your phone. Now select your phone's model number, brand name, etc. So in my case, my phone's brand is Samsung. My phone's device name is Samsung Galaxy S4. And my phone's model number is GTI 9500. Once you have selected everything, click next. Now it's gonna ask you whether this information is correct or not. So I'm just gonna say yes my information is 100% correct so I'm just gonna type here confirm after that click on ok now it's asking you to get your phone into download mode okay in order to get your phone into download mode first of all turn off your phone once it's completely turned off press and hold down volume down button home button then press volume button press and hold these three buttons together for a few seconds if you don't know how to get your phone into download mode just do a simple google search and you will find out how to get your phone into download mode okay after that it's gonna download some recovery packages for your phone during this process make sure your computer is connected to the internet and do not use your phone just leave everything as it is and this software will handle the rest so now this is going to take time depending on your internet speed so i'm just going to pause the video over here and i'll come back when it's done okay now it's recovering my device this is going to take another few minutes during this process your phone may restart several times you just don't have to worry it's normal okay now it's removing the password now you can see it says remove password completed okay now your phone will restart automatically after that your pattern or pin code will be removed Okay, now you can see my phone's screen lock has been removed. Now I can unlock it without the password or pattern. And my all files will be in safe hand. As you can see, all my apps, all my files are there. Uh, for example, let's go to gallery. And as you can see, all my files are there. None of them has been touched. Okay, now let me show you what to do in case if you face any problem during this process or if your device is not supported by the software. Just click on this menu button over here, then click on support center. Then it's gonna take you to Wondershare's support center. From there, you can contact their support team and tell them your problem. And they will get back to you within one or two days. So there you have it guys, thank you so much for watching this video, if you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends. And if you want more videos like this then please subscribe to my channel with notification on. And I'll catch you on the next one, have a nice day.